from Hollywood. Tell me you're a madman. It's the Tom Likas Show. I'm going to take you into our conference room. Seems more seemly a setting for what I have to say to you. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. In this segment of the Tom Likas Show, we are going to talk about a commercial. Actually, it's a series of commercials you've been hearing if you live here in California. How many times have you heard this? Opponents of Proposition 8 said gay marriage has nothing to do with schools. Then a public school took first graders to a lesbian wedding, calling it a teachable moment. Now a liberal education politician says schools aren't required to teach about marriage. Yet his official website confirms teaching marriage is required in 96% of schools. And a leading Prop 8 opponent has warned parents cannot remove children from this instruction. Children will be taught about gay marriage unless we vote yes on Proposition 8. With us on the line is Sonia Eddings-Brown. She is the Deputy Communications Director of a group called Yes on 8 Protect Marriage. Thank you very much for joining us uh, on the Tom Likas Show. My pleasure. Um, I just voted because I, I, uh, I vote by absentee ballot. And I read this proposition. And that commercial has very little to do with what this proposition is, doesn't it? You know, I can see why you thought that. And I am so sorry that you already voted today. How do you know what my opinion is? I think that I could win your vote back. If you hadn't voted. But you you do understand that the commercial is misleading. Tom, let me just tell you what happened last week in an East Bay elementary school. We'll, we'll get to that in a second, and I do want you to have a chance to tell your story. But before we get to that, I need you to answer my question. Isn't that commercial misleading? No, because... Uh, because well, Proposition 8 says the following, essentially. It says that you would be essentially reversing the recent decision on gay marriage. And and so if you vote yes on eight, it's no to gay marriage. And if you vote no on eight, it's yes to continue with gay marriage. That's what it is. Well, remember that that language was uh, directed by our Attorney General, uh, Jerry Brown, and that that was not what our ca campaign wanted to put on the ballot. That is what the Attorney General decided. But well, we're not talking about what the Attorney General decided. We're talking about what the proposition is what the proposition is is to put a constitutional amendment on the books replacing the language that the california supreme court removed against the voice of the voters in may that says between a man and a woman and what happened was on the very last page of the decision by the california supreme court the justices literally drew a line through the words between a man and a woman and when they did that they changed marriage for everyone in the state, not just for gay couples, and that includes children, because you cannot have any discussion but, but about again, marriage now you're without taking this, separating but, children But, but again, it. that's not what the proposition says. Well, and, and by the way, I'm not picking on you. You know, there's a lot of these. This just happens to be the one that runs the most often. And, and as we are getting ready to vote, uh, I hear this commercial, and it says almost nothing about what the proposition is. But that's because the proposition has now been defined by our attorney general, not about what it is really addressing. And he had the right to choose the language. But it doesn't matter what, what would have been on there or could have been on there or should have been on there. What matters is what, what is on there. Okay, you're right. And you know what? It isn't fair for voters to have to be uh, detectives to figure out what the propositions are, is it? But you haven't really done anything to help them solve that problem in that commercial, have you? We are doing everything that we can to alert voters that. If, if you ask the average person who heard that commercial, they believe it's the keep kids from learning about gay marriage in schools proposition. It says nothing about what the proposition is. Will you give me? Will you give me sixty seconds to explain? I'll, my well, we're going to have some give and take here because, again, you have sixty seconds and thirty seconds and fifteen seconds to run commercials where we hear your side from your point of view. But no one ever actually gets to question you or your organization or uh, people who represent uh, this proposition eight. And and the fact is that that commercial we just played says nothing about what the proposition is. This is what we know, Tom, and I'm a former newswoman with ABC. I'm an education reformer in Los Angeles. Well, most conservatives would say that's nothing to put on your resume, and they're the ones who support your measure, aren't they? But let me just tell you. 
that as soon as you take that language out of the state law, gay activists are using it as a can opener to get into our public schools. And they've done it in Massachusetts, and they've done it in California. And if we don't reverse that uh, through a constitutional amendment, then parents should expect... But is there any reason you don't say what the proposition says and then tell why people should vote for it? Well, I think that... I'm getting a little bit of And feedback. the reason is because you, you want to misrepresent this so people will vote for it. I'm getting just a little bit of feedback. I, I know. It's, it's, it, you're only hearing it on your end. You're not hearing it on the air. Okay. So the bottom line is we are trying as quickly as we can to inform voters about a couple of things, that whether or not they like this, gay activists are trying to put it forward. Second, with the absence of that language in our laws, it is going to impact our children, not just adults. And third, everyone that supports gay rights can still support their gay neighbors and colleagues uh, because the, the domestic partnership statutes already guarantee them every single right that I have as a woman in a traditional But marriage. there is no evidence that anywhere but in Massachusetts that children are or will be taught about gay marriage. That's your opinion or the opinion of people who want to get this passed so they can undo gay marriage. Well, let me just tell you that on Friday, the school district of the Hayward Unified uh, School District in the East Bay started an investigation because in a kindergarten class last week here in California, students were compelled to sign an I am an ally card uh, that says this, I will not use lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender language or slurs. Uh, I will intervene when I feel I can in situations where others are using anti-lesbian, gay, um, bisexual, and transgender. So you're in favor of slurs, is that what you're saying? No, not at all. I just think that when kids are in kindergarten, we ought to be teaching them to be kind to everyone and not dropping... Uh, a gay agenda on their heads while they're eating grass. Well, I don't crackers. know what other cards they've signed in the past, and I have a feeling you don't know either. Actually, I don't think kindergarten children ever are asked to sign pledge cards about anything. I, I have heard of school districts name. where children have been asked to pledge virginity. I have heard school districts where people have pledged not to commit hate crimes. Uh, I've heard this use before. Uh, people pledging uh, to be virgins until marriage. But these are five-year-olds, Tom. Again, but that's that's up to the local school district, the local parents. And if the local parents object to it, they have means to challenge it. They have means to go to court and fight it. Oh, and why should the parents uh, have to bear that burden, Tom? Well, because that's the parents have to bear the burden of every fight about what's going on in their school district. That's how school districts work. Well, I just don't think that gay activists should be setting our agendas or our curriculum in our schools, and the lion's share of Americans and Californians agree. And it's really well, been a pleasure. Well, again, to be on well, your again, show. again you, you, you misrepresented yourself uh, again here, just like in the commercials. I mean, play that commercial again. We're all laughing our ass off listening to this commercial. Opponents of Proposition 8 said gay marriage has nothing to do with schools. Then a public school took first graders to what a lesbian it? wedding, calling it a teachable moment. What is Proposition 8? Now a liberal education politician Can says tell me what it is required to teach about marriage. What is Yet it? His official website confirms teaching marriage what is, is Proposition 8? 96% of schools. Where is it? And a leading Prop 8 opponent has warned parents cannot remove children from this instruction. Mm. Children will be taught about gay marriage unless we In vote your yes opinion. on Proposition 8. Right, but it says nothing about teachers or schools or anything. And, uh, in fact... All it is, if you, if you vote, if you vote yes on Proposition Eight, you are taking away the rights of gays and lesbians to get married. And if you vote no, uh, you are saying we're not changing anything. Things stay the same. You know, we have gay and lesbian marriage in California. You know what? We've survived. So society has survived. We have survived. This is a stupid proposition. These commercials are misleading like so many other commercials about propositions, and it just pisses me off. Does it piss you off? Tom, Tom like, it. like it. 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. The Tom Likus Show. <laughs> It's the Tom Likas Show, 1-800-5-800-TOM. Look, it doesn't matter if you live in California or not. I'm sure wherever you are, you've got these skanky commercials for propositions and initiatives that uh, are just completely dishonest, completely misleading. <laughs> Pretty outrageous stuff. It's 
one 800 tom In this case, we're talking about, in California, Proposition 8. And uh, all these people trying to get you to vote yes on Proposition 8. And when you vote yes on Proposition 8, uh, you are essentially saying, well, um, gay and lesbian marriage, let's take that right away. <laughs> so it, it's yes on no and no on yes. Another one of these uh, propositions where uh, if you are against gay marriage, you vote yes on Prop 8. And if you are in favor of gay marriage, you vote no. And uh, it's outrageous. Just outrageous. It's Gordon on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? I'm doing okay. You know, um, I'm 18 years old, and this is the first time I'm going to vote, actually. And um, I'm so proud to do it because it's such a revolutionary time to vote. And I saw the ad for the first time about Prop 8, and I was I was completely disgusted. Like, for voting yes? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Like, you're using your right to take away someone else's right? And then I had a conversation with, like, my elders and stuff like that, you know, and it was it was disgusting me, like, the way they were talking about, it. oh, gays, gays shouldn't have rights. I say if Prop 8 passes and gays shouldn't have rights, we should be able to have slaves again. Like, that's how ridiculous it is. I don't know if I'd go that far, but... Uh... Uh, what's really ridiculous is the commercials. They're, they're, they're so dishonest. Exactly. You know, the, people don't listen to me because I'm 18 and, you know, I'm, I'm a kid, whatever. But I know what's right from wrong, and people try to bring the Bible into it, and kids, and it has nothing to do with that. The bottom line is, if you're against gays, then you're going to take away their right to marry. And they don't do anything wrong to people. Like, where where is there proof anywhere that, Gay marriage is going to make a problem for us. Well, I I totally agree. But by the same token, here's the deal: uh, if gay marriage is legal, why would it be a problem if it was taught in schools? So what? Exactly. I mean, if they teach about marriage in schools, that's part of marriage. And if they don't teach about marriage in schools, it's not an issue. There shouldn't be anything wrong with it because I mean, if you can teach about Nazis and Hitler in school, why can't you teach about gay marriage? Well, good point. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, here's Jason on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how's it going? It's going okay. All right, I just want to tell you a little story. You made the statement earlier about um, the commercials are misleading for Prop Eight. Yes. Uh, a friend of mine, he was taught. We were talking about the vote, and he said, "Yeah, I'm going to go vote. I missed the deadline to register, but I was talking to him about it because he's kind of an idiot." But. Um, and he was talking about Prop Eight, and he said, "Oh yeah, I'm going to vote yes on that." And I said, "Why in the hell? Why in the heck would you vote?" Prop 8 on that. I mean, that, yes on that. And he told me, oh, it's to protect uh, not teaching marriage in schools. So that was just, I just wanted to tell you this little story about the first hand experience of just how misleading these commercials are. Right. And I, I wanted you to hear, and by the way, you notice that woman hung up on me. Yes. <laughs> uh, because the last thing she wants is to go on the air and have to answer the real question, which is, what is this proposition really? Not what it could have been, should have been, would have been, what it is. It, by the way, if they're not happy with the proposition, why are they spending so much money to support it? I just think that a lot of these propositions are the same way also. They're just misleading voters into voting one way or the other without telling them really what the proposition is going to do. Well, that's right. I voted no on Proposition 8, and I'm recommending that everybody uh, vote no on Proposition 8 if you live in California. Uh, simply because, uh, look, let's face it, uh, I'm not a big fan of marriage. Gays and lesbians fought very hard to get the right to marry, and they'll see soon enough that that was a bad move for them, that they had it made. Uh, but uh, if they want to get married, like uh, like the schmuck, uh, like the straight schmucks who get married, I, they should go ahead and have that right. I just I just agree with the fact that this is the land of the free, isn't it? So shouldn't everyone have the right to learn and make their own educated decision? So even if they did teach it in schools, what's the big deal? It's well, everyone's right to choose, isn't it? Uh, I agree with you. Anna on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Um, good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm doing okay. Good, good. I wanted to call because I've heard Sonia talk, and I've heard her talk in a couple of different instances, uh, like on Channel 11 and Channel 4. Um, and one of the things that she said, and just to give you a background, I'm 29 years old, grew up in Orange County. I have a beautiful 8-year-old son who also goes to school in Orange County. Um, I did not learn about marriage until my freshman sociology class. So it was ne marriage or divorce or gays or, or straight people or anything like that was never taught to us in school. And in my son's school right now, he's in third grade, same situation. He has two uh, parents who are both female, 
um, and he spends time with us equally because we are not together. Um, and, you know, nobody's ever questioned it. He, we, we've never had a problem in his school. Um, you know, and one of the things that Sonia brought up is that in, in not this in, interview, but another interview, she had said that, um, you know, that she wanted to save the sanctity of marriage so that children would understand that they have uh, one mother and one father. And honestly, Tom, I've listened to your show for a long time. There are a lot of heterosexual relationships where children do not have that balance. Children do not have a mother or a father or either for that instance. So I think that realistically, aside from just teaching it as marriage and from her, her reaching from the sky, is that, you know, my son is in a very stable home. He has two people that love him very much and would give us, you know, their right and left arm for him either way. So even though we made the decision, which was a good one for us not to be together, you know, we still very much love our son and nothing's going to change that. And, you know, he understands what that is and eventually his friends understand what that is. But never in schools have I ever been around or has he so far been around where they teach anything about marriage. Uh, I agree with you. Of course, you are right about that, Anna. And uh, uh, these advertisements are, are completely misleading, and they really piss me off. They piss off a lot of people. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Mason on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Good afternoon, Tom. How are you doing today? Doing great. Uh, great to hear that. You know, I'm really disappointed that Sonia hung up on you because um, I'm a teacher in the California school districts, and uh, we are told to talk the standards. And I would actually like to ask Sonia where in the California standards does she see that we need to teach marriage? Well, she had no interest in talking about, uh, first of all, she had no interest in talking about what Proposition 8 is. Right. All she wants to talk about is this misleading red herring. Uh, they've turned it into a debate about teaching marriage in schools to children. It has nothing to do with that. Absolutely not, it doesn't. And, and the thing is, too, I, you know, it's interesting, because I, I taught preschool before I taught elementary school. And the thing about preschool is that family is all around. So whether the parents are married or not, if they're around, they're around. And kids notice that, and they want to know who's that. And that's when, as a teacher, you have conversations with all of your parents about how are we going to talk about this, what is okay with you, and what not. But nowhere in any of my years teaching, and it's been a good seven years at this point, did I ever get told, you have to teach marriage. You have to, you know, instruct the kids this way. It's ridiculous that she's even using that as a way, and this commercial is making my blood boil because it is so misleading. But I do got to give it to you, Tom. You said something that made me crack up, and that was if the schmucks want to get married, let them. You know, as someone who is queer identified, you, that, that was the most hysterical thing I heard because that's the one thing my brother always told me. He's like, listen... I waited 10 years to get married, and then I tied knot after being with the same woman. And that's it. Now I'm sunk. That's exactly right. You know, he's like, he's like I, when he told me that he was getting engaged, I said, is this the 10th year anniversary ring? What is this? You know, it's the same woman and all that, but he decided to tie the knot. And, and he said, you know what? If you guys want this, go for it. Next thing you're going to come up with is, is gay divorce. Oh, it's already ha there's already been gay divorce. It's already happening. So, I mean, you know, the thing is, like, as someone who's queer identified, listening to your show, even though I do feel everyone should have the same rights, personally, for me, it would not occur without a prenup if it even occurs. Because since I've been listening to you, and let me tell you something, it works both ways, straight or gay. Your w rules work, plain and simple. And I got to thank you for that. Absolutely, Mason. Thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's say hello to Maria. On the Tom Like His Show, hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Also, I want to say that I love you. <laughs> really? Uh, yes, I do. And um, pretty much the previous caller said almost everything that I wanted to say. I also work in a school, and we laugh in the lunchroom about this proposition because it's just ridiculous. Um, we don't teach anything about marriage, and parents have all the right to pull their students out of any lesson. I've had parents pull students out of evolution. I've had parents pull students out of health classes. So parents always have the right to do that. So it's absolutely ridiculous to think that parents will not have the choice to do that with this also. So but that's about it. Thank you, Tom. I love you. Maria, thank you for the call. I appreciate it. Tom, Tom, Tom.
like us. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show of 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Here in Los Angeles and probably all over the state of California, I'm imagining, we are hearing the following commercial. Opponents of Proposition 8 said gay marriage has nothing to do with schools. Then a public school took first graders to a lesbian wedding, calling it a teachable moment. Now a liberal (laughs) education politician says schools aren't required to teach about marriage. Yet his official website confirms teaching marriage is required in 96% of schools. And a leading Prop 8 opponent has warned parents cannot remove children from this instruction. Children will be taught about gay marriage unless we vote yes on Proposition 8. Sounds very, very scary. (laughs) Joining us now is Hillary McClain. She is the press secretary for Jack O'Connell, who is the California superintendent of public instruction. Hillary, uh, first of all, how much of that commercial is true? Well, um, there are a couple of issues that I, I think um, are, aren't exactly right. Um, first of all, I think most importantly, parents throughout our state should know that they have very strong rights in California. Um, it, the law is crystal clear that parents have the right to exempt their child from any instruction, particularly instruction that is sensitive, um, like about sex education and so forth. So um, that that is just flat wrong. Um, and I think that's important for folks to know. And then secondly, I think it's important for folks to know that um, the law really gives um, districts, local districts, discretion about whether or not to teach about marriage at all. Nothing in our state law requires school districts to teach about marriage. That means gay marriage or any marriage? Any marriage. Right. So... Um... <laughs> Uh, do you uh, get angry at these commercials? Do you find them funny? Uh, what's your reaction to it? Well, our, our job is just to try to provide factual information about what the education code says. Um, I, I think it's unfortunate that they are um, uh, misleading and probably unnecessarily alarming to, to people who you know really should have faith in our public schools that they're serving their, their children well. So if people vote against Proposition 8... Uh, this is not going to cause some change in curriculum in the state of California. Absolutely not. The education code didn't change when the state Supreme Court made its decision about gay marriage. It had That decision really had nothing to do with schools. And education code won't change if Proposition 8 passes, and it won't change if po- Proposition 8 uh, goes down. I think it's important for people to know that. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for spending this time with us. My pleasure. I appreciate it. There goes Hillary McLean. Hillary McLean is the spokesperson, press secretary for Jack O'Connell, who is California's superintendent of public instruction. And you heard it. If you vote against Prop 8, nothing's going to change in schools. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. And it pisses me off. Michael on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm, I know you're doing great. I'm not going to even ask. Thank um, you. So I want to thank you for talking about this. I mean, it's a major um, life-altering kind of deal for a lot of people. And I just wanted to tell you a quick story. So I work with No on 8, and I'm one of those people that call your house and say, can I talk to you about oh. a proposition? Oh. Uh, and so here's what I thought, just like you. I'm, like, giving some of my time, you know. I think everyone's going to yell at me, hang up the phone, don't bother me especially in demographics like Northern California, places that, you know, kind of out in the boonies, we call it. I say, introduce, do you, are you voting for the proposition to take rights away from gays and lesbians? And nine times out of ten, people are like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you know, this is about marriage. And I explain it to them, and we go through the wording, we read it together, and even people that are diehard Christians are, like, kind of put off by it, you know? Because it's dishonest. Oh, and, you know, the biggest thing is people that are true Americans, and I'm going to say that because I'm not running for president and I can, people that are true Americans will not take rights away from someone. They may disagree with you, but they are not going to strip you of your fundamental rights. I think a good example of that is abortion rights, which have existed since the early 1970s. And there have been many tries, and there's been violence and threats and protests. There's Supreme Court justices appointed. 
and yet Roe v. Wade still stands. Yeah, and, you know, just a quick story. Quick, and I'll be off the phone. Um, talking to someone, and I'll just goes to show you how ignorant some of these people are. Um, the guy says to me, he goes, well, you know what? We started giving blacks rights, and now all of February is teaching our kids about blacks. And um, I was just like, there's nothing wrong with teaching people about African Americans or gay people. They are people that have fundamentally changed our world, our society, our views for the good and the bad, and everyone should be taught about, regardless of what age you are. Even though, uh, as you just heard, uh, this will not change curriculum in California public schools, no matter what the commercials oh. say. And you know what? I will gladly say to anyone opposing this, we don't teach kids about marriage, and we don't teach, And if they give us that, we won't teach kids about intelligent design, okay? Enough said. Thank you so much. I appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's say hello here to Brigham on the Tom Likey Tom? Show. Hello. How are you doing? Great. Good. Good to hear. Um, yeah, I just, I, I think I think most people understand. I actually make yes on eight calls for the campaign. Well, so you're, you're, we just had a no on eight person who makes calls. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I actually devote my time and make and make calls for the yes on a campaign. I think this. I think edu I think voters. I think there are commercials that go out and clearly state what the proposition is that a yes vote means that you are for traditional marriage and a no vote means that you are against same sex marriage. There, there are also commercials that also educate the voters on to what some of the ramifications are. This this commercial we just played is not educational. It's dishonest. How is it dishonest, though, Tom? Because it, because what it says is not true. We just we just put someone on from the California State Superintendent of Public Instruction who right. said specifically that it's not true. Right, I know, but she also said that each school district has their own discretion as to whether or not they can teach That's not what marriage. the commercials are telling you. The commercials are letting you know that it's going to be mandatory. Mandatory. It, and that it, you won't have a choice. Does it say, does it say mandatory, Tom? Uh, the word mandatory isn't in there, but it's, again, let's play it again. Opponents of Proposition 8 said gay marriage has nothing to do with schools. Then a public school took first graders to a lesbian wedding, calling it a teachable moment. Now a liberal education politician says schools aren't required to teach about marriage, yet his official website confirms teaching marriage is required in 96% of schools. There it is, right and there, required. Stop right there, required. It's required. No, it isn't. Now, have you been That's to not website? true. I don't care about the website. I just spoke to the uh, spokesperson for the state superintendent of public instruction who said that that is not true. Period. Okay. So, all right, it doesn't say mandatory. It says required. Same thing. Okay. So she says it's not true. Okay. Well, she that, uh, is with the State Department of Public Education. With that gentleman, the false is with that gentleman's website. And uh, by the way, getting the end of this argument is part of the whole red herring process. Proposition eight has nothing to do with schools. Nothing. Okay. Has nothing to do with Proposition eight. Has nothing to do with children. Nothing. Proposition 8 is the take away rights from gay people proposition. How if you're in favor of taking away the rights of gays and lesbians, vote yes. If you're not in favor of taking away the rights of gays and lesbians, vote no. That's the truth. How, how is Tell it the right, truth, Tom? because they have the right to get married now, and uh, Proposition Eight would take away that right. I know they have the right to get married. They have the but right. But the Proposition Eight, eight would take it away. I'm, I'm, I, you know what? I, I, I'm not going to let you disagree with me on this. This is a fact. I read the proposition. I have voted. I know what it says. Is it well, is Tom. taking away the rights of gays and lesbians to marriage. They, they have the right today, and if Proposition Eight passes, they won't have the right after election day. They, they, Tom, they will have the right to get married. They have the right mm. to marry some member of the opposite sex. No, they don't. Well, see, there we go. They will not have the right to be gay and lesbian in a gay and lesbian marriage. That, you will be taking away rights. That is what Proposition 8 does. It, is, it takes away rights, and I'm not letting you, I'm not letting you uh, pollute people's minds and try to change their minds about this. That's what it is. They, if you want to mislead people, buy a commercial. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Christian on the Tom Like It. Whoa, we lost him at the last second there. Tony on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Dad, I got to say, hearing you in that last comment, I love you. 
<laughs> Seriously, uh, um, I'm gay. I'm one of your avid uh, listeners. I listen to you every day at my job. And uh, what one of your last callers said is true. I mean, you, your rules apply to both gay and straight. Now, what, what I'm calling is, yes, this proposition very, very, very deeply um, affects me. And uh, personally, my mom is uh, a staunch, you know, uh, Christian lady. She goes to some Baptist, uh, not Baptist, uh, Calvary Chapel Church in Temecula, and she's going to vote a yes on this proposition. And I tried to tell her, Mom, do you realize what you're doing? You're going to strip me of rights. You're, you're, by, by this uh, proposition passing, if, if it passes, I'm going to be treated as less than a human being. I mean, do you want that? And it's and she says, oh well, you know, God says this and God says that. I'm like, but this has nothing to do with religion. I said this has to do with stripping people of my rights. She said, well, I don't want your nephews being taught about gay people in schools. It's like, well, mom, it's not. They're not going to be taught this at school. That those are scare tactics that conservatives love to use to gain votes. And it, it's it's horrible, Tom. I mean, it, it's horrible. It's like I'm waging a war here with family, uh, some family members, some friends, some coworkers, and it's like, you know what, this is a civil rights issue so far of the 21st century, and it sucks, man, it really sucks. Yeah, well, I agree with you, Tony. Now, coming up, uh, we're going to talk to somebody from the No on California Proposition 8 campaign, and we're going to get their point of view on this coming up next. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 Tom. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 866. The Tom Like It Show. Tom Likas show from Hollywood. Yvette Martinez is the political director for the No on California 8 campaign. Yvette, thank you for joining us. Have you uh, heard this commercial we're talking about? I'm sure you have. Uh, the uh, campaign for Proposition 8 uh, has uh, tried to uh, change uh, what Proposition 8 is all about into a debate about schools and teachers and what kids are learning in schools. That That's not what it's about, is it? Absolutely not. Um, there's nothing, Prop 8 has nothing to do about with education or teaching children about same-sex marriage. It's it's absolutely, um, it's a last-minute, you know, scare tactic to scare people and you know, have them vote the wrong way on this initiative. So uh, essentially, it's like the old joke we have here in California, vote yes on no and no on yes, because if you're in favor of gay people maintaining the right to get married, you vote no. Uh, if you're against it, you vote yes. Correct. Um, if you um, think it's fair to eliminate rights for same-sex couples um, to marry, then you would vote yes. And if you are for fairness and equality and you want to, you know, maintain the right um, for same-sex couples to marry, then you would vote no. Right. And, and and people should understand, by the way, we've been critiquing the, the commercials, we've been critiquing some of the language that's used. Even what you're saying here is is obviously your opinion about fairness. I, I happen to vote no. I'm, I vote absentee. I voted today, and I voted no. And I agree with you that, that that's fair. But by the same token, it's fair only if you agree with what you believe and I believe. <laughs> it's, some people might think it's unfair, and that's their opinion, and they're entitled to that. But the commercials in this campaign are, are uh, they're embarrassing. <laughs> for the yes side, I think so. But for the no side, we're, we're really proud of our commercials. Um, we're telling the truth about what this campaign is and isn't about. Today, we're proud to launch a new campaign TV commercial featuring Senator Feinstein. And she is telling the truth about, you know, this is about fairness and equality. And we should not be discriminating against anyone in California. We should not write discrimination into our laws. I, I thought today that, uh, you know, of course, I'm the amateur campaign director sitting at home watching these commercials on TV and hearing them on the radio. I always thought you guys should recharacterize as a Proposition 8 as the take away the rights of people proposition. 
because that's exactly, if you vote yes, you're taking away people's rights. Right. It is about taking away rights. It's about, you know, we're, we're facing real problems in our state today, a real economic crisis, you know, and, you know, we feel like, you know, saying no to Prop 8 is, 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 you know, the right thing to do at a time where there are so many other important things happening in our state. Taking away rights is not a step forward. It's a step backwards. We should be ensuring fairness for every Californian and that means for gays and lesbians as well. Thank you so much, Yvette. I appreciate your time. No problem. Yvette Martinez is the political director for the No on California Proposition 8 campaign. And your call's here at 1-800-5800-TOM. James on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, it's real simple, Tom. Uh, real simple. Um, Proposition 8 is one of these phony manufactured issues that the Republicans come up with to get people's minds off of the fact that they screwed up the economy, they screwed up the war in Iraq, and they're doing nothing at all about alternative energy. They don't want people thinking about all that stuff, which they've messed up badly. They want people riled up about this culture war issue. So it's a phony issue to get people's minds off of real issues. Yep, I think you make a lot of sense. Inez on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello? Uh, yes. Uh, hi. Sorry. Um, well, I'm actually um, part of a big family, and I've grown up with a gay aunt, a gay uncle, gay neighbors. My older sister is gay, and my... Pretty much my whole family is very democratic, very liberal, um, but my dad is very strictly conservative, and he's voting yes on Prop 8, which has been interesting because he's been actually doing the phone calls for Prop 8, and um, he's actually disowned my older sister over it. So we've had this whole argument that um, that Prop 8's about you know rights, but he's intent on saying that it's about religion, and he won't read anything about it. He just believes the commercials and the by the way ads. do people still get disowned for political issues in the family i'm i'm amazed i guess so i'm blown away i know <laughs> but um it just amazes me that so many people don't do research and just automatically go with the flow go with whatever anyone says and i know so many people my age that are voting yes on prop 8 for no reason other than you know they don't like gays they you know they don't, you know, most of them are guys, and they're like, hey, you know, I'm not gay. I'm voting yes on Prop 8. You know, like, I believe marriage is strictly between a woman and a man. But there's so many more, there's so much more to it than people are letting on. Nobody's really doing research, and it's like, I hope this passes, because, I mean, I'll, I have, like, four you answers. Hope it, you hope it does pass? No, it, I hope that it doesn't pass. I hope that it gets shot down. Okay. Yeah. See, even you're confused. So I'm, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Farah on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing great. Um, great to hear that. I'm calling just basically on what, on what you guys are speaking about. I, I totally agree with one of your callers that you just had now. I think we're focusing on the most ridiculous thing that we got going now. I, I don't think we should be even concerned about gay marriage. However, I'm not for it. I, I would vote against it. I um. It's not nothing I really want to teach my children. I know they're going to learn and see it in public and stuff, and I'm going to have to explain it to them. But I guess it's kind of agreeing with it and allowing it to happen. It's not something I want to do, you know. And uh, I don't know if they will teach it in public schools. I mean, I know you're, you don't have the right to say you're going to teach it in public schools. By the way, I don't even care if they teach it in public schools. Why would that be a problem? Uh, I, I think it would, because why are we teaching our children how, what to marry, who to marry? That's not important. We're there well, to educate the well, children. Well, first of all, telling children that gay marriage is legal is educating children. Man, but you know what? I, I think we should be focusing on different things about gay marriage. But we're not I mean, teaching marriage in schools. Didn't you hear that? Well, I hope they don't continue. But, we're, I mean, but, we're not, but we never did. Wow, I know we do sexual education and stuff. We like don't that. teach marriage until way later. Elementary school children are not learning about marriage in schools. Yeah, well, I hope they don't because they, I, I don't see why. But Proposition Eight is not going to cause them uh, to to learn or not learn about these things in schools. Yeah. And well, I'm not really for it. I mean, it's, it's something I have to explain to my son and my kids about marriage, period, and then about gay marriage. That's another thing i got to teach them about eventually myself. And I, I want to be able to teach them when I feel I'm ready and not when the school's ready. So I do I do hope they don't, and I do hope it stays like that. But I'm, I'm still against it. I, I, I'm against it. I, I just don't feel, you know, we give them the right to marry another sex. We're going to give them a right to marry animals. You know, someone loves their animal. My dog has been with me 10 years. You know, we got too much right. I mean... No, no, there's no such thing as we got too much rights. 
don't. Let me, let me, let me There's take that no back. such thing as having too many rights. No, you're, you're right. You're right. Let me take that back. I just feel that some of us are ridiculous here. We, you know, we start off that way, and then we end up wanting to marry our pets, and then we end up wanting to marry and, our... Again, I, you, know, I, you know what? If people want to marry their pets, that's not my problem either. I don't care. I don't care. I want to get off people's backs. Oh, I'm not... I'm but nobody. out of other people's lives. Yeah, I, I'm not in anybody's business. I ain't any concern, but I think it's just too much talk about what's going on here. We should start focusing on other things. We should start focusing on, on the president. Well, we, we, well, we, well by the way, it, it wasn't gays and lesbians who, who initiated Proposition 8. Figures. Figures it was. No, no, it wasn't. It was. It wasn't. Hello? Yeah, well, was I don't know why not. we're the deal out of it. You know what I'm saying? Just because make... it's on the ballot on election day. Yeah, but, I mean, we've never had it. It's never been legal. Like, well, then well, blame the people who put it on the ballot. That is Mormons, Knights of Columbus, and other groups that are Christian or religious or what have you. They put it on the ballot. That's why we're talking about it. Well, it shouldn't even have gone through in the first place. I mean, we've never allowed it to happen, and all of a sudden it did. Because so. the Supreme Court of California said that that's the way it should be. And what's the big deal? Why do you care? Because I care because then I have to educate my children later on on, on what all this is all about. You know what I'm Please, saying? Please, you know what? Your kids are going to learn anyway. Yeah. You know, gay marriage has been legal now for, 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 for quite some time. Uh, your kids haven't fallen off a cliff, have they? No, not yet. Thank God. What makes you think they would? No, it's just something that you don't want to teach your kids. I mean, you don't want to teach your kids that it's okay. I don't know. I guess until you're a parent, you understand what I'm saying. But, but first a... of all, being gay is legal. Let's start with that. Definitely. So I don't know whether... You and know, there I mean, are gays not... and lesbians who live among us in our community and in communities around the world. Yeah, well, I mean, hey... You That's can, how I... it is. Yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, so when your parents, uh, wait, when your kids ask about well, well, what's that all about, you're gonna have to tell them. I know what I'll say to them? I just, I don't know. It's well, like, but tell them the truth. How about that? Oh my God! Email address is tom at blowmeupdom.com. It's the Tom Likas Show.